This presentation shows line-by-line -line critique of the March 8, 2022 entry on Wikipedia regarding Deepak Chopra. For a video summary and commentary, please see the comment below YouTube and you will find a link to the sister video. Thank you. So this is the uh, March 8th, 2022 version of the Chopra article at about 10.30 in the morning Mountain Standard Time. And it's quite long, it rambles, and uh, it's not very balanced at all. It's just filled uh, with criticism from uh, basically reductionist scientific skeptics. And it's got very little of the actual huge positive reception that Chopra has gotten over the years, um, including perhaps his most important reception was almost 30 years ago from Oprah Winfrey is quite a respected figure in American culture and she apparently had no problem putting Chopra on the show but anyway that's that doesn't mean he's not uh, controversial at all um, what got my interest in, in this article is uh, the intro here uh, there's some of Wikipedia's hilarious guide to pronunciation, which is just kind of makes me laugh as an editor, but that's not really what I'm criticizing here. Um, some of this is okay. He's a prominent figure in the New Age movement. Um, he's one of the wealthiest figures in alternative medicine. That's a little bit of a dig right there. That just kind of lets you know the road we're going down here, they don't even want to save it until later. Let's see, Hokum on the rise. So right in the lead article, they're citing somebody that's from, you know, 15 years ago saying that, that uh, Chopra is Hokum and he's getting rich off of it. So that, anyway, it's all downhill from there. This is the sense that really uh, got my interest going. It's just, it's out of whack in an encyclopedia introduction. It's just right up front letting you know that the article is biased and it's, it's actually, it just sticks out like it doesn't even belong here. Uh, it can belong somewhere else, but it, it doesn't belong here. Uh, saying that his work is techno babble. Well, that's somebody's opinion. That's not verifiable objective truth. That's an opinion. And those that understand physics are driven crazy. I'm sure that many of them are. But there are many others that probably uh, respect Chopra. And I'm wondering if Albert Einstein himself the most famous physicist ever, probably other than Isaac Newton. I wonder what Albert Einstein himself would think of Deepak Chopra would, and, and of his treatment here in Encyclopedia. Because Albert Einstein was definitely not a reductionist or an atheist, which apparently you have to be to work at Wikipedia as an editor to, to work on these articles its own orthodoxy, its own religion of materialism. So, you know, just going through here, there's a little bit that's balanced. Okay, that's fair, a little about his career. And right after that, yeah, he went on Oprah. Okay, they didn't waste any time. And then it's just full of criticism. Occasionally something will be balanced or the other side of it, but there I don't think there's too much in here about the positive reception. Why is he so famous? How many millions of books has he sold? Not a lot. Uh, not a lot 
lot of positive info in this very long article. And there, I don't know why we need to know in the encyclopedia his actual prices he charged for something 25 or 30 years ago. Like, who cares, Wikipedia? What are you trying to do here? You know, by putting these expensive prices in there other than discredit him. Um, it's just blatant. And it rambles. <laughs> We've got the same information in here over and over. Um, you know, a lot of financial information about his rates. Apparently, that's a huge issue that he makes a lot of money. Um, this is highly critical. Most of this or all of this. Uh, they pro quote prominent skepticism skeptics such as Michael Shermer who's pretty much a materialist and uh, Richard Dawkins a famous atheist scientist um, those are those guys are quoted in here no doubt um, yeah there's Michael Shermer God forbid a doctor such as Chopra should believe in intelligent design. That's that's a mortal sin on Wikipedia, apparently. Uh, many great scientists over the years have believed in, in a higher power that was guiding evolution, and they're not denying the mechanisms of evolution. They're just saying they might be guided by God or Brahma, Especially if you're from India, you might believe that. But that's a horrible sin on Wikipedia. And you get labeled as a pseudoscientist for even believing in something other than pure random creation. Uh, so we don't get to see both sides. And interesting, uh, some of the same editors that are on the hatchet job for Dr. John McDougall are also on this page watching it. Apparently they can't allow anything new or different to be presented with a fair shake on Wikipedia and they actually hilariously cite this kind of second rate uh, reference from somebody named Kurt Butler that they also cited on the John McDougall entry on Wikipedia and it's cited here but all apparently mysteriously now it's got a co-author Stephen Barrett which is not listed when they when they reference this book from 1992 on John McDougall's page right now. So there's a, a consistency problem on Wikipedia. Who wrote the book? One guy or two? Anyway, this book is uh, wow. They're they're promoting it as further reading. Um, you can learn about Deepak Chopra. Well, this. Kurt Butler has got an axe to grind, at least he did 30 years ago when he wrote this. And this is a bunch of doctors and healers that he thinks are pseudoscientist quacks. And, uh, you know, maybe he could update it. They could update this from something from 30 years ago as if Deepak Chopra hadn't done anything new since 1992. Uh, Wow. Uh, thank you, Wikipedia. <laughs> um, anyway, in my next slide, I'm going to talk a little about the discussion among the editors. But that's just a short review of uh, this rambling, poorly written article. So every Wikipedia page, this open access software, um, it has a discussion page where volunteer editors can discuss the editorial content and the direction they're trying to take with the article. So this is March 8th, 2022 uh, talk page about the article. And boy, you can see there's been a lot of talk. We have pages and pages of archive discussions and there's been a lot of arguments there's been a lot of people 
have complained about the quality of it and um, there's been a lot of back and forth and it appears that a group of reductionist skeptics so basically the status quo of old style science materialists like if I can't see it it doesn't exist they actually have editorial control over this page and some of them are have worked on multiple other articles you can see the same people with the same viewpoint and uh, this is actually encouraged by Wikipedia policy so somebody with a more progressive open-minded viewpoint um, get shut down and threatened and they'll say well you're you can't cite those uh, sources because they're not reliable uh, secondary sources and basically all you want is a subject of the encyclopedia entry to get a fair shake you're not trying to say that somebody's not controversial you're not trying to say that doctors don't always like Deepak Chopra MD. That would be that would be biased in and of itself. All you want is for the encyclopedia to give a full view of the subject, and then you, the intelligent reader, can decide what is actually your educated opinion. But Wikipedia on this page is literally has an orthodoxy worldview and they're actually telling you up front that Chopra is pseudoscient pseudoscientific he's not a real scientist or doctor and you know there's almost immediate threats you get to see all these warnings and threats this is a threat right here to somebody like me and they've already threatened me. I didn't actually change anything in the article. I'm a Wikipedia editor. I've had an account here for years. All I did as Jack Byron was went on this talk page and brought up some of these issues and I got threatened yesterday by somebody saying I could be banned from Wikipedia blah blah if I continued my disruptive edits when I actually hadn't edited anything. Um, I had, I'll show you, I had expressed some rather fiery opinions, but I hadn't used any four letter words that I'm aware of. So this is March 8th, 2022. And, um, well, they do agree that the subject is controversial. And it says, when updating the article, be bold, but not reckless. Well, I felt that in, I'm a science teacher. I'm taught and trained in chemistry and physics and environmental science. I thought that's what I was doing. And um, I got a really cold reception to that. The content must be written from a neutral point of view. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's, it's completely biased towards one viewpoint or 80% biased towards a reductionist viewpoint of medicine. Oh, even, they've even found people that they think may be associated with Deepak and they've listed them as like a public shaming, like watch out for these guys. They could actually have a personal relationship or conflict of interest. That's interesting. Um, there's not a lot on the current dis discussion page. What kind of got my interest is some timid poor soul here a couple of days ago, uh, right here, I made a new section and said, the article's introduction has a heavy negative bias. It should be reviewed to ensure it presents a balanced view. Well, the person, this is their moniker here, 
but I thought this is a really reasonable statement and they only mentioned the introduction. So I saw this and I went to the introduction and I was like, yeah, it's a terrible introduction. It's biasing you right from the get go. So when I'm, a, I'm not a nice guy, I have a big mouth and I jumped right in here. This person here is also on the John A. McDougal page on Wikipedia and um, is really prickly. Um, um, anyway, I can't do that. But anyway, I wanted to go to their page. Let's see if I can do that. No, something's wrong here. Okay. Well, anyway, this person is on multiple pages like this, and I've had problems with this person on other pages where they're doing the same kind of second-rate work. Uh, they said they reviewed the article and said it was fine. Well, I jumped in and said, no, uh, <laughs> typical fiery fashion. I compared this to the editorial grace of Donald J. Trump said it was crappy writing just the way wikipedia likes it that wasn't very diplomatic but it's true and uh, wikipedia is now a quasi-authoritarian power pretending to offer balance and comprehensive in info but in effect passing judgment on the subject by policy well that's actually true and uh yeah i wasn't really worrying about trying to being too diplomatic because it's obvious that it's hopeless here. So I guess I'm just like sticking a stick in the in the face of the lion here, uh, trying to get it to roar. Um, and but this the reaction that I got confirms what was going on here. So I did that, and then right after that, somebody saw this. And uh, I had some other comments that this person, Roxy, removed, but then I overturned her removal of my comments here. And then somebody threatened me right here. This was yesterday, apparently. And this person says, please refrain from making unconstructive edits to Wikipedia. Well, I hadn't actually uh, edited the article. I had made some strongly worded comments here, but I actually hadn't edited the article. So I thought that was a little overbearing. Um, didn't have a very positive reaction to this. Um, yeah, I have a contract dispute with another editor. Um, Please ensure I'm familiar with Wikipedia's policies and guidelines. Yeah, I am, and they stink. Do not make edits that continue to appear disruptive. Well, yeah, you wouldn't want actual real criticism. That would be disruptive. And then they say, well, I could be banned from Wikipedia, which would just be a horrible thing not to be able to contribute to this world-class editorial uh, <clears throat> platform. And uh, anyway, I wasn't very nice here, but I didn't use any four-letter words. And I haven't been banned yet. Um, so anyway, a lot of these uh, people, like I said, this, is, this person is, hmm, Apparently, I don't have the internet, so okay. Well, I may have to cut this short here. Thought I had internet. Um, but the, the talk page has clearly been hijacked by a group of, of people that um, have a certain worldview, and they're not, they're not, that's fine that you have your bias whatever it is, your religious bias or your worldview, but you know, you've got to, if you're writing encyclopedia, you got to be aware of that and, and not try to tell somebody else how to think. And that's what they're actually doing. Um, 
Anyway, there's a lot of problems with this article, and the problem is actually systematically Wikipedia itself. And that's why I brought up Larry Sanger, the ex-co-founder of Wikipedia, um, because he's clearly uh, outlined these structural problems. And it's not just articles like this. Uh, it's not just articles like this. Anyway, that's me on Wikipedia. I'm Jack B108, and I usually behave, but sometimes I get in trouble. Anyway, that's just a little about the talk page uh, for Deepak Chopra and some of the issues that I've seen there. Let's see if I can stop it. So those are some specific issues that I that I see with Wikipedia and especially with regards to Deepak Chopra's entry on it. And in this critique on YouTube and on the sister one where I actually on video, you can see me and it's more of me just giving video commentary rather than screenshots. Um, the link is in the comments of this video. So right below the video, you'll see the link to the sister video, which is shorter. And you can see some of my more overview criticism and comments about Wikipedia and this article in, in general. Um, but anyway, I Wikipedia has been interesting. It's started out with the best of motives, Jimmy Wales and, and Mr. Sanger. And it seems to be turning into Facebook uh, where we're bringing out the worst in people. And we have a very powerful, controlling central bureaucracy with millions of people using a, a product. It's not a perfect analogy. Nobody's making a lot of money on Wikipedia, but it's one of the top 10 websites in the world. And I don't think it's too controversial to say that it's the number one encyclopedia in the world. And with somebody as prominent as Deepak Chopra, when a kid or a, a young person in college goes and looks up somebody like this in the encyclopedia it's really sad that they're not really getting an overview a fair overview of of the person and the work they're getting a very spoon-fed version of it from wikipedia so wikipedia is like the government um they're just trying to help you. They're, they're, they want to protect you from all those bad things out there. The problem is, is they don't even know. They're not qualified to tell you what's bad and good. <laughs> and they should just get out of that business and just give me the facts. Anyway, if I don't think they're going to. So um, Maybe the best solution is to go to a new platform if we can figure one out where people can present their own views on a subject and people can pick and choose. So thank you for your time. Uh, happy reading. Read everything you see with a bit of skepticism. But the world is full of knowledge and of joy and of good people. So find those out too. Thank you.